Previously on this storyline of Mr. Fudge Monkey's annoying villagers. Captain, there's a player approaching us. Sir, what should we do? He appears to be unarmed. Should we open fire? Don't underestimate me! <laughs> fire! It's no use. Retreat! <laughs> How much further? Uh, uh, hey, what are you guys talking about? Can you help us? No, I've never been asked for help from people like you before. I think we should trust him. Hey, right, follow me to your death. Uh, I might, I might to the hospital, cause, cause that's where we're going. Um, uh, all right, to the adventure and friendship and stuff. What? How could this happen? There, there must be some survivors somewhere. What? Have you seen a villager in a blue room? Uh, uh, are you responsible for this? Yes. How Futile! Enough! I don't know! I don't know! I don't know who you're talking about! Bring me to someone who does! I don't know! Bring me to the closest village! I can't! I can't! I can't betray them! I can't! I won't! I won't! You will! I, I have to warn the villager king! You don't know what to do! This message! It must make it to the villager king! And now... I put that there? Oh, there's a chest! <laughs> it's ending! How cruel can you be? Hey! Hey, Grave! Looks like someone's nearby! They're- they're in Zone 3B! Alright, let's go check it out. It's probably some stupid villager scout. <laughs> let's raid him. <laughs> what am I gonna do? I'm in water and we're out of snow! <laughs> Wait! Oh my god! What the heck is that? Wait a second! I saw that! I read about this on the Minecraft wiki page! It's... It's a zombie villager! Wait! But the only way for a zombie villager is for a villager to get affected by a zombie! But I thought all the villagers became too strong to get affected! <laughs> oh, never mind that! I gotta capture it! It'd be perfect for my pet! Ah, 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 ah,
How many is lost house? Do you think we need to set up to connect the settlement to the next one? Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, wait, wh what was that? <laughs> a zombie villager scout. Impossible! We found the kill a long time ago! How could a villager scout be infected? We villagers have become so far from the players themselves could not rival us! It's too close to the settlement! We have to kill it! Wait! Those zombie villagers! They are extremely dangerous! They have no sense of caution! Be careful! They have a higher rate of infection than normal zombies! And it's said that they have the ability to track us villagers a hundred chunks away! Most importantly, they they retain their past experiences. What? What what do you mean by past experiences? I don't know, but I've heard they they retain their fighting abilities. What? You mean they can fight as well as us? Yeah, I'm I'm not sure, but but be careful. Don't don't engage it directly. Understood. Fire on my mark. Fire. The other zombie! It's guarding it! Why I thought they couldn't think! We can report this abnormal behavior later! We have to kill it! Keep firing! Wait, is that a player? Is he controlling them? Stop! Stop trying to figure it out! Just keep firing! I must conserve my energy! You. I am God, God of this world, and you, you shall be sacrificed for a noble cause. I thank you for your service. My name's Boop, but you can call me Boopa Doop. I don't want a tombstone. Get me something better for a birthday present. You still get picking a big present. No, a tombstone is for when you die. So he's saying he's gonna kill you. <gasps> You're not allowed to kill me. No, really? Such who? Uh, y your mom said so. Yeah, y your mom. Uh, I think. Oh, uh, really? She said that? If anything were to happen to me, I'd like you to become the protector of this world. To maintain the peace. To allow everyone to have a chance. Out of all these people, why, why did you choose me? You know as well as I, you're the only one capable for this role. There are simply no other options. I'm sorry to thrust this role upon you. Your journey, it shall not be an easy one. There are forces of darkness, forces who wish to destroy this world and the creatures within it. Why don't you just eliminate them all yourself? Don't you possess that power? It isn't that simple. These dark forces, they hide in the shadows. They are undistinguishable. They exist in every single one of us. They are only manifested when acted upon. To distinguish them correctly, you must be pure of heart to eliminate them 
is an art of its own. You must shoulder the burden to take full responsibility. You must persist in the face of uncertainty, to persist in the face of danger. This is why I have chosen you, and you alone. Why? Why does this have to happen to me? How am I supposed to protect this world when I myself do not understand this threat? Hey! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> These are my villagers! Get out of here! How dare you try to get out of here! These are villagers! They don't belong to you! You kidnapped them from their homes! Who are you to claim ownership over their lives? Well, well, I saw them first! So they belong to me! And I had to go through all the trouble and try to bring them in these mine carts, you see? And then I had to bring them all the way back here! And, and, they're just NPCs! They don't have any feeling! Yes, we do! No, you no, don't! No. Okay. Fine, have it your way. I'll just take them by force. Ha! You think you can beat me? I'm a Super Minecraft Emulgen PvP Pro! <sighs> we'll see about that. Why? Why must they seek power over one another? This world. This world can be such a cruel place. I shall protect it. Uh, his movements. I can't keep up. Get rest, noob. Die! What? What? Who are you? He. He has a diamond sword. It's been so long since I've seen one. They're so rare now. Ever since they've been mined to near extinction. Release them. <laughs> but, but, it took me so long to bring them here! Release them. I won't test again. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll trade these villagers for your diamond sword. <laughs> <laughs> Once he gives me his diamond sword, I'll kill him, and then I'll recapture those villagers. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so smart! <laughs> I'm so smart! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I wonder why my school marks don't reflect my brilliance. W wait, what? You're free now. Warn your people of players like him. Here's some iron. Upgrade your defenses. Thank you. I will pay your kindness forward. Ah, we're free! We're free! Ah, party at my house! You hacker! You hacky hacker! You hacked right past me, didn't you? What Minecraft hacks are you using, huh? What website did you get them from? Can, can you link me a YouTube how-to video? <laughs> Fine, I'm gonna report you, and you're gonna get banned forever! <laughs> and, and, I'm gonna write mean things about you on the micro forums! Who are you? No one. Wait, wait, please. Please teach me to become strong like you. I'd like to protect this world and the creatures within it. I never thought I'd meet someone like him. He put his life on the line just to save a few NPC villagers. His fighting abilities need some work though. I'll give him a chance. Here's a map. Head to the place with the X tomorrow morning. Thank you. Thank you! Oh, help! Help! Somebody! Help! What? What are you doing? This is marked as a safe zone. There should be no fighting here. 
Our clan is growing, and we need more land and supplies. So you take it from others weaker than you? This is how this world works. The ones with the most powerful of weapons and the highest of numbers control this world. Those with power have a responsibility to uphold the peace. It must be nice having that diamond armor, never needing to fight for your life. Once I kill you and take your items, you'll know what it feels like. But Gray, he's, he's one of those elite players. I think we shouldn't mess around with him. He's alone. With all three of us, we should be able to take him out. Just imagine the items he has in his inventory. He's probably worth more than all these average players combined. With his items, we'll be able to jump up the rankings. Yeah, let's do it! Leave. I will not ask again. He's scared because he knows I'm right. Bingo Bear, take his left. Moist Burrito, take his right. Right! I'll do whatever it takes to win. Whatever it takes to protect this world and the people within it. Too weak. Go ahead, do it, do it! I'll just come back even stronger, and I'll burn this place to the ground. Mark my words. If I kill him, he and his friends will just seek revenge against me, and he will definitely come back for these two. I don't want this problem. To grow any further. Leave. Leave now. I never want to see you again. Come on, Drake. We should take this opportunity and run before he changes his mind. We got enough loot as it is. I'll kill her. I'll kill her. I'll kill her. I don't know if I made the correct decision here. Maybe taking their items would have been a better choice. Are you guys all right? Thank you. But you don't need to save us anymore. I've seen it! A savior! He is coming! He is coming to save us! To save us all! He will erase scum like them! And he will reward his true believers! True believers who have dedicated their lives to him and worshiping his greatness! He will lead us! He will lead us to salvation! It will be a utopia! A perfect world! You'll see! You'll see! In his name, his name is Harold Ryan! Boy, do you like chocolate? No, I don't like chocolate. Chocolate makes me fart. Like this. You're a freak, you know that. Mm, I you wonder what, what his screams of death sound like. My farts sound like this. To be continued. Hey there, guys. This is Mr. Fudge Monkeys. I hope you enjoyed watching. Oh my god, this is the longest episode of Annoying Villagers ever. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I, I went a little kind of crazy while making it, but whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Tell me what you think in the comments below. I'll see you next episode.